Second story, another day function. This was a grab a date, which means you get like 24 to 48 hours notice of the function, and so you have to grab a date really fast. And I fucking hate those because unless you have a boyfriend or like a best, best guy friend, it is hard to find someone that last minute to go with you. Not even because like, oh, I don't know any boys to take. It's like people already have plans 24 to 48 hours in advance, obviously. It was a grab a date. I had literally no one to ask at all. So it's like, I'm not even going. I don't care. Like, I'll just study. Like, I'm over this shit. Like, it was the very end of freshman year, I think. Yeah, end of freshman year. And I was like, I've been to enough day functions this year. I don't care. Like, I just will worry about my finals. Like, I don't want to go. And my friends were like, you have to go, blah, blah, blah. So then the same roommate's boyfriend in the same fraternity found me a date and he sent me a picture of him and I did not want to go with this guy like I could just tell from his pictures like he seemed like a very like rugged long as fuck haired like backwoods kind of skate tough guy I don't know like I wasn't attracted to him but that wasn't even the only reason I didn't want to go with him I just felt like me and him wouldn't vibe like I felt like I'd be in a pretty uncomfortable situation having to go on the date function with him so I declined going with him through like his friend which was my roommate's boyfriend and then my roommate's boyfriend got so personally offended I didn't want to go with this guy he was like he's one of the coolest guys in my fraternity like why wouldn't you go with him like you're so shallow you just want to go with him because you're not attracted to him and I was like oh my god like now you're fucking attacking me just because I don't want to go with him like I didn't even want to go on this function in the first place like fuck this and I was like, the only way I'm going with this guy is if you fucking tell him I am not hooking up with him. I don't even want that pressure because last fucking time I went with the guy in the fraternity, you said he's not going to try and hook up with you. And then he walked me to my dorm and did. So you better lay it out that he's not going to try and hook up with me. So he's like, okay. And so then I was given this promise that the guy had been talked to and he wasn't even going to try and hook up with me. And that wasn't his, in his intention. He just wanted to have fun with me and have fun with his brothers and the other friends that were going and whatever. So it's like, fine, I will go with this guy just to have a good time. This guy and his friend came to pick us up to drive us to the pregame the day of the function and obviously I wasn't attracted to the guy when I saw him but he seemed really easy going so I was like okay at least for a three hour function like I think I'll be able to handle this guy without wanting to fucking die. We get to the pregame, like, you could tell instantly that he was so fucking attracted to me, and that's not me trying to say I think I'm so attractive, like, I think I'm a pretty regular looking person. Obviously, though, to some people, certain people have, like, a look that they like, I don't know, and this guy just seemed to be very, like, hung the moon by me, like, thought that I was a very attractive person, that, like, going on this date function with me was amazing because I was so pretty or so his type or whatever, like, that's how he was acting, just kind of, like, all over me, super quickly which I was already kind of like oh I don't want him all over me I don't want him acting like this to me if we're supposed to be just having fun because when guys act like that or girls act like that vice versa it's kind of the start of flirtation that leads to other things which I did not even want that to be an option for this night he pulls out vodka for me because again it's customary for the guys to bring liquor and it's Tito's vodka which is made in Austin Texas where I'm from and I was like oh you got Tito's that's so cool I'm actually from Austin and he literally says to me, oh yeah, I was searching through your Facebook last night and saw that, so I wanted to get this for you special. Like, literally admitted to my face that he spent time last night Facebook stalking me, which I mean, it's obvious if you're going to go on a function with someone, you're going to look them up on Facebook. So the act itself of looking me up on Facebook isn't weird, but to hear someone verbally say, oh yeah, searching through your Facebook last night, I found out where you lived and got you vodka from there. Like, I was just kind of like, <laughs> I was like, oh, well, that's nice. Like, Tito's is really good vodka. Like, thanks for not getting me shitty school. Whatever. So we drink a fuck ton. Like, get super drunk, obviously. He also had, like, rolled blunts, like, with weed in them. And he was like, yeah, like, I rolled a few blunts if you're into smoking. Like, we can smoke them on the porch. And, like, as someone who's in college, sometimes I'm into smoking. And everyone thought this was, like, some grand gesture that he, like, had rolled blunts for me and I was just like okay like whatever like this guy just kind of felt like he was going above and beyond for providing for me at the pregame that I was kind of like I have a feeling this is going to end in him wanting to hook up again seeing with my previous experience with this shit going down we walk to the venue from the pregame because the pregame place was right next to the bar that the day function was being held at and while we are walking to the venue, there's a huge group of us all walking together in a pack down the road, and I am talking to my best friend, just having a drunk, fun conversation on the walk. It's only like a three-minute walk. Like, why would I not talk to my best friends? And out of nowhere, my date goes, why are you mad at me? 
And I was like, what? Like, that is so weird to ask, especially a random person. And like, why would I be mad at you? And what the fuck? And he was like, yeah, I can tell you're pissed at me. I could just tell. So you might as well tell me what I did wrong. And I was like, I'm not mad at you. Like, what do you mean? And he was like, well, then how come this whole walk to the bar, you've been talking to your best friend and not me? And like, at this point, this walk had been going on for about 60 fucking seconds. Like, I'm sorry that I can't talk to my best friend for 60 seconds. And I was like, oh, like, I'm sorry. Like, I didn't mean to not be including you. Like, I was just talking to her about some stuff, like, catching up. Like, you're more than welcome to, like, talk with us. And he was like, nope, you're mad at me. Fuck this. I'm pissed. Like, he got, like, actually mad all because I wasn't talking to him for, like, a minute of time. And my friend witnessed this whole exchange go down, obviously, because she was standing there talking with me and walking with me. And she was like that's weird your date's weird and i was like great fuck this so we get to the bar whatever we take pictures together he take pictures of me and my friends and then he kind of like disappears for a little bit and i didn't care i was like okay maybe he ditched me this is awesome now i won't even have to ditch him like whatever mutually not feeling it like he's mad at me because i'm mad at him like whatever fuck this kid he's getting weird as fuck so he disappears for a while like he fucking disappears not me i'm at the fucking pizza buffet the whole fucking time stuffing my face with pizza because i don't give a fuck and he comes up to me at the pizza buffet like an hour later and he's like where have you been like you ditched me and i'm like are you fucking kidding like are you on drugs because i have been here this entire fucking night in this same fucking spot talking to these same fucking people eating this same fucking pizza god damn you is fucking stupid he was like no you ditched me like i think he was just trying to make up shit in his head to like start shit with me or give him a reason to not like me like I don't know if this is like too far fetched, but I think maybe he like obviously really wanted to hook up, but like remembering the conversation he had with his friend being like, yo, this girl's not down to hook up. I feel like he's just kept trying to start shit to get himself to like hate me so that he would be less disappointed about not hooking up at the end of the night. I don't know, dude. I've experienced some weird shit with guys, so that wouldn't even surprise me if he had elaborately like thought that out. And I was like, well, I'm sorry you feel that way, but I've been here the whole time. Like, I'm like, do you want to go? Like, you can leave. I won't feel bad. And he was like, I'm only leaving when you're leaving because we came together. And I was like, okay, well, we can leave at the same time, but I'm not going to, like, go home with you. And he was like, well, we came together, so I figured you'd want to leave with me, too. And I was like, no, like, I am not interested in hooking up with anyone. Like, it was super awkward because then I was having to verbally have a conversation with him being like, yeah, no, I thought we, like, figured it out that, like, we weren't going to hook up and this was for fun. And then he was just getting more angry, which is so annoying. Like, I can make a whole video on guys getting mad when a girl declines them or doesn't want to hook up with them or doesn't respond to a compliment in the way they want them to or doesn't want to take a drink at the bar. Like, guys get actually fucking pissed if a girl, like, isn't interested, which is fucking psychotic i'm sorry and i'm not saying all guys do this but a lot of young guys will and i think it's just because guys really want to get laid when they're super young and in college and if you're drunk obviously then there's like alcohol involved but like that is so fucked up to be like pissed because a girl doesn't want to fuck you or whatever like how about you go fuck yourself asshole I was like, no, I'm not going home with you. And then I was like, I think I'm actually going to leave. So me and my friend, the one I've been talking to, that he got mad at me for talking to her and not him, we were like, let's blow this joint. Fuck this. Fuck this guy. This is weird. Like, he's getting really fucking weird and, like, angry because he's drunk. Like, let's leave. So we leave and we're standing on the street, like... I don't know if we were waiting for an Uber or something. We were just standing on the street, like, trying to collect our shit, collect other people to go back to our dorm. And he comes out, and I'm like, oh, my God. Now, here he is. And he was like, let's go, babes. And he, like, puts his arms around me and my friend. And he's like, let's go, babes. So are you bitches coming back with me to my apartment, or I'm going to come back with y'all to one of your dorms? Like, verbatim, that's what he said. And I was like, I'm not going anywhere with you. And at this point, I was getting really sassy. And it takes a lot for me to, like, be, like, kind of rude to someone because I don't like confrontation. I don't like drama. But if I'm drunk and you're being a fucking dick to me, I'm going to fucking say something. So I was like, I'm sorry, but I'm not going anywhere with you. And he was like, I went on this date function with you. Like, I brought you Tito's. Like, the whole cliche, like, I did all this shit for you and now you don't want to suck my dick. Like, sorry, no, I fucking don't. He's like... Don't worry, I'm gonna have a pledge come and drop my car off for me, and the seats are so nice and leather, I would bet 12 cows died to make the leather in my car. Like, I'll never forget that. 12 cows died with leather in my car. Like, that is a famous quote of my life now. The amount of times I've told people that quote because it's so fucking weird. And me and my friend were both like, 
okay? Like, I don't want to hear about 12 cows dying to make the leather in your car. So he literally has his friend bring this truck. And so this guy, this pledge is sitting in this truck, like, with the truck running, like, waiting for me and whoever to get in the truck. And I was like, I'm sorry, but I'm not going with you. And then he was like, I just had this pledge, bring my truck, and you don't even want to come with me. And I was kind of like, oh my god, how do I get out of this situation? Like, I've told this guy no so forcefully so many times to his face, and he is, like, losing his shit. And then at this point, another one of my friends walks out, and I just give her this look, and she, like, quickly senses what's going on. And thank god this friend is actually fucking intelligent, because she instantly picks up on what's happening. She comes up to me, and she goes, right, and I'm really sick. Do you think you can take me home? Like, God fucking bless, yes, do the whole I'm sick pretend thing. This is the ultimate way to get away from dudes. Pretend you're sick or gonna vomit or something. And I was like, oh my God. I was like, oh my God, this is my friend. She's so sick. Like, I have to walk her home. Like, she's gonna puke. Like, and she was like, I'm so sick. Like, can we go? Like, faking it. And the guy was like, wow, fuck these girls. Like, fuck this. Like, pissed as fuck, gets in his truck and leave. I was like, yay, we did it. It worked. It was fine. But that guy was such an asshole and such a fucking weirdo and then he didn't really hit me up after that he probably woke up the next morning and was like what the fuck have i done like what did i say to this bitch like what did i do but then like six months later he like added me on snapchat and i added him back for like a week and he like sent me a snapchat it was like hey what's up and i'm just like no this is too weird so i just like re-deleted him like off snapchat like wasn't about it or whatever Unfortunately, he works at the like super popular liquor store right off campus So every time me and my friends get like alcohol there like the chance of him working the counter is very high Like I've run into him a plethora of times since this function 50% of the time I go to get liquor here I have to run into this dude, which is fucking shitty But it's more awkward for him like in both of these situations. It's awkward for the guys like I did not do anything wrong Like fuck you people. Goodbye. Bye